Hi, I'm Andrew Maneri with Unity Labs, and I'm going to talk about the physics tracker gem we released. So real quick, a before and after. Uh, red is just direct data, and then uh, blue is the physics tracker. So why you want to use the physics tracker is uh, you have something in your game that's not part of your physics simulation. So this could be like a VR controller. It could be like a particle moving through space. It could be a character driven by a controller script. And you want to have data like velocity and acceleration. Uh, and you want to hit three points. You want to have data that's uh, really smooth. Uh, you want it to be snappy, so if I'm moving my controller around, it's getting that direction change right away. And also, you want to capture the user's intention. So if I move my controller back and forth, I'm getting a nice, clear axis of motion here. With the direct data, it's just pretty noisy. It's kind of bouncing all over the place. Uh, and the way we accomplish this is by treating this as two separate problems. So one is getting direction. So again, red is just doing it direct frame by frame. And then blue is our technique. And then the other one is getting the magnitude of motion. I'm doing back and forth. You can see there's lots of little like pops and spikes in the direct data. Uh, because we're treating these two problems separately, it's very easy to do a smoothing and prediction step. And that's how we get it to be smooth and snappy without being laggy. And then when we combine them together, we get our nice physics data. One more note about just kind of like the capturing the nice smooth axis of motion. Uh, this is really important for throwing objects because you want it to have if I try to throw with this, the position can change so much that you're going to have objects that veer off in this direction and that direction. Uh, in this case, feeling correct is more important than being physically accurate. Yeah, and uh, the physics tracker can be applied to anything in your scene. All you need is position changes. So this can follow like a point at an end of a baseball bat. This can follow particles moving through the air, anything you want. Uh, and to use the physics tracker, uh, you can find it at the Unity Labs GitHub at the uh, URL shown below. Thank you.